Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to show you um, how to create a year-over-year -year growth for a line graph um, and then show you how to label that line graph using a kind of percent difference total. And I'm also going to show you how to create a calculated field for different rows in a text table. So this came out of class um, earlier today and from a student um, who asked me if I knew how to do this and um, I figured out how to do it. So hopefully um, this will give you some good lessons going forward. Uh, so I will change this to entire view. Um, and this is the data we used in class. So I'm going to change the year here to uh, date and time. And then I'm going to change it to discrete. So we did part of this in class, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So what I have here, I just clicked on year and put it into the columns shelf. And one thing that we did in class is we added three of these measures. So like the organic measure, the referral measure, and the total measure. Um, and we actually added them like this. So we added the organic and then added the referral to this little axis here. So again, I'm going to do this slowly, drag it over here um, to the axis, and that create that allows you to um, have two different or multiple line graphs on an individual worksheet in Tableau. But what it doesn't do is give you the option to actually manipulate the individual lines um, when you actually add the individual measures up here to the rows. Um, so if you want to change these individual lines, for example, um, based on this data or a calculated field, it's kind of hard to actually do that. So what I'm going to do is get rid of these and go back to year like we had previously. And I'm just gonna, I, I've tried to look for how to create three different individual marks cards for each of these three measures, organic referral and total. But it looks like Tableau doesn't really allow you to do that. So I think the best way to really go about this is to just use two measures here. So organic and referral. And then like we've done before, is make this dual access chart and synchronize the charts and then get rid of this one and now we have two separate marks cards that we can actually uh, work with and format so um, we did a bunch of formatting in, in class um, we added for example a annotate um, mark label here. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this lesson since we did it in class. Um, but I want to, what I want to do is answer the student's question um, about actually making these green and red. So um, if this line goes down, so each of these lines represent a year. So whatever goes down will be associated with red and then when it starts to go up a bit, it'll be associated with green. So that's pretty straightforward to do. Um, because we have these multiple marks cards, we can change the formatting of the individual lines. Um, so I'm going to drag, I'm going to change organic um, to a percent, or I'm going to basically work with the first line, uh, the orange line first, which is referral. Um, sorry. I'm going to work with referrals, so I'm going to drag referral into color, and that's going to change the color of the referral line. Um, oop, I dragged it in organic, I'm sorry. So I'm going to change the marks card. Just That's a good reminder to remember that you need to work with the marks card you want to work with. So I'm going to drag referral into the marks card under color, and you notice that that changed the orange line here. So again, I'm going to go back just to do it again, drag referral into color, and 
the student wanted a green and red. So I'm going to change the color. So I'm gonna, I'll, I did this quickly. I'm going to go back. So go to color, edit colors, uh, grow down, do red, green, diverging. I'm going to use the full color range and click apply. And click OK. So you can see that this line here now um, is kind of diverging based basically over time. So the, the green is fine up here and then it's going down. But what the student wanted is um, a quick calculation on the year over year growth. And what I figured would be easiest to do is you can actually click down here in the color button, click the down arrow, go to quick table calculation and you can do year over year growth. And that changes the lines from year over year. So this will, is more red, it starts to grow up a little bit based on percentage. Green is good and then red seems to be bad. This one's going up to more green and again down to red. If you want to actually label these, um, it's pretty easy to do as well. So you can drag referral into label. And this is just showing the actual percent here um, every year. And you can need to change this also to a year over year growth. So 11%, 2% positive, 8% positive from year to year. Um, so it's really that easy to really kind of create this uh, year over year growth line graph. And if you want to do that again with the organic line here, you go to the organic marks card and then drag the organic um, measure into color and then change the color again to red green diverging use full color range you don't have to if you want click apply click OK then you need to change this to year over year growth again green going up red going down and then if you want to label that drag that back into label and then change this to a table calculation as well year over year growth so from year to year, this is the calculation of the percent. Um, one thing we probably should do is change these numbers to a percent. So if you click on the axis, click format, this should pop up. Um, and then you go to percentage. And then that the axis actually looks like a percent now. Um, Another thing you could do is edit the axis. So, you know, there's a lot of space right here, for example, um, which you can do in your own time. You basically just go here, edit axis, and fix the range. So you could do like a start of two or something. Oh, it would be, sorry, 0 0.02. And then that'd be 2% you're starting with, except for 0. So I'll let you play around with that. I'll change it back to zero here. And then there you have it. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's really hard to know um, which actual lines are the organic and which ones are the referral. So this is where you can do your labels. Um, of course, it's up to you how to design your graphs. So again, like we did in class, you can click on one of the lines uh, click uh, mark label, or I mean annotate mark, and then just change this text. And this is the um, organic label, I believe. Let me just make sure. Hover over, this is organic. And this will also show you what Tableau is actually doing. So if you hover over the line, it's difference in organic from previous year to year. Um, yeah, so now you probably need to label these lines as well, 
but I'll let you do that because we did um, in class as well, okay? And next, I'm going to show you how to create a table um, with different marks cards that you can actually manipulate the calculated field for each column in the table. Okay, so I created a new sheet, and I couldn't really find a good way to create a table that gives you the marks cards. So I'll show you, for example, why. So I put year here. Um, I'm actually going to drag it down here so it might be a little easier. So I double clicked organic, referral, and total. And again, this so the student asked me what, how can I get organic to change color, the column only organic to change color, the color referral to change color, and the total to change color. And again, we need a marks card for each of these three um, measures, and we don't actually have that when we create a table this way. So I'm going to go back, and I found a workaround basically. So we need to create a calculated field for each of the measures that we want to include in the table. So the first calculated field I'm going to create is, um, let me move this up here a little bit. Oh, can't grab it. Okay, I'll just leave it. Um, organic. So I'm going to just say organic color field. And I'm going to label this as zero, just the number zero. Click OK. Then calculated field um, referral. Color. Then I'm going to put a zero. Click OK. And then I'm going to do uh, total. And then I'm going to put a zero. OK. So remember this is a workaround, and I'll show you in a second um, what this really looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do organic color. So instead of double clicking here, I'm going to actually, I'm going to start over just from scratch. So I'm going to start with year and I'm going to put this into rows and then I'm going to add the organic. So this will actually create a bar chart here because it's the number zero. I'm going to add referral to the columns and I'm going to add a total. So what we're going to do here is we're going to basically create a table from this chart. I'm going to move this over a little bit so it looks a little more like a table. I'm going to change this to text. So now it looks like more of an actual table. Um, then I'm going to edit the axis for organic color. Um, tick marks, I'm going to pick none. And then I'm going to pick none here, and that gets rid of the zero. Referral, edit axis, tick marks, none. That gets rid of the zero, none. And then again, I'm going to get rid of the zero, edit axis. So if you notice on the tick marks, you see there's a zero here. And if you pick none, I'm just going to make that look a little more like a table. And then you can um, play with the spacing here. If Tableau lets me grab it, um, you can drag this down like that. Um, like that. So now we need to add our numbers. Okay, so before we do that, I'm going to edit this and just hide the labels of year then make this look a little bit more like a table um, and there you go so we need to add our numbers so basically see now we have our all three marks cards down here I'm going to drag organic into the text um, before we do that an easier way to create a percentage is just to click up here go to um, default properties and go to number format and do percentage click OK 
and then I'm going to add that into text. Then referral, I'm going to go referral. I'm going to change the format. Um, default properties, number format, percentage. Okay. Drag referral into the referral marks card. So referral text. And then total, change the formatting, number format, percentage. Okay. And then drag total into oops, the total marks card. Now these still say color, so I'm going to edit the access again. Down here, you can get rid of that. Oops. Um, I pushed a button. Um, edit access, delete the word color, click X. Edit access, delete the word color, click X. So now we have this table and you can um, kind of manipulate the actual data based on the marks cards and you can push this over. And this was the best solution that I found for Tableau. If you have any other solutions, please let me know. Because um, what we really need are these three individual marks cards so that we can manipulate the individual um, columns. So uh, the student asked basically from year to year, um, it was kind of the same question about the percent over year to year. So right now the label is just simply the percentages um, each year for the organic product. So we can go down do a quick table calculation, do year over year growth. So from 2005 to 2006, organic grew 6%, 5%, and so on. Um, and then we can do that for the rest. So referral, quick table calculation, year over year growth, and then the total. Um, quick table, year over year growth. And what this student wanted is, I don't know the specific KPI, but I can just make one up. Um, so basically, if let's just say if there's negative, um, a, a negative number, it should be red. And if there's a positive number, it should be green. So we'll just go with that one. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I was just practicing before. That's why I had this. Um, of course, so you get the best content possible. Um, we're going to add a calculated field for each of the columns. And I'm going to basically make, if these numbers are greater than zero, and you can come up with your own KPI, that's fine. But if these numbers are greater than zero, um, they're going to be green. If they're not, they're going to be red. And you can come up with a little bit more complicated KPI if you want to, or something based on actual uh, goals for percent growth or whatever. So um, I'm going to, I created this calculated field here just to practice. So I'm going to just recreate it. Um, so go here, click on the down arrow, create calculated field. And I'm going to, it's basically a KPI. So I'm going to do organic KPI, which stands for a key performance indicator. And what I want to do is um, if the, I'll show you what I did first, which might make sense. So the first thing I did was if the sum of the field I started with organic um, is greater than or equal to zero, then good. You need to just write a label here. So we can change this to a color. And then else, if it's basically less than, then bad, and then end. But I tried to do this, and I forgot. Um, I guess you don't need to then. I'm sorry. Else bad. Um, so again, if the sum of organic is greater than zero, then good. Else bad and then type end to end the function or the formula. 
And Tableau didn't like this, and I know why, because basically I'm not using this. I basically put this calculated field in, let's see, I'll just do it, um, calculated field in the organic, and then everything turned blue. Um, and it's basically going into the um, underlying data, and it's getting the actual positive numbers because everything was greater than zero, so everything it assigns is good is blue automatically. So I tried to go into color and edit colors, and there's only good, um, but it's because Tableau is actually pulling from the numbers in the spreadsheet and not the actual formula here that we made as a quick table calculation year over the year over year growth formula. So if you look at the data source here for a referral, there's only positive numbers. So it's actually it's just getting this each percentage for each year so everything is positive. So Tableau says um, automatically everything is blue, which is not what we want. So we need to actually edit this part of the formula. And we need to make this the percent different, we need to make this these numbers, the actual year over year growth. So an easy way to do that is to click this down arrow and um, go to the edit and shelf and it will give you this little formula. Um, and what I did is just basically copied this whole formula, control C, put it right here, control V. So then if, you know, this is the formula for year over year growth that we created um, is greater than zero, then good, else bad. So again, I just basically, I'll go back this is not pulling the correct numbers. Um, it's pulling the actual positive data um, in the underlying sheet here. So it's pulling the three, 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 four, 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 four. So I deleted this, went to the numbers that are actually displayed here, clicked on the down arrow, click edit and shelf, and just copy the whole function all the way to the end. So I'm just highlighting everything into the left. I click Control C. Alternatively, you could right click copy. And then I put it in front of this greater than sign. Push paste. And then click OK. Um, and then we'll add this again to color. And there you go. Tableau automatically changed the colors to orange and blue. So the student wanted green and red. So I go to color, edit colors, and now bad is red. Bad is basically um, under zero. And good is green. So I click bad, click red, click good, click green, click apply. And there you have it. So all these positive numbers are green and all the negative numbers are red. Now we can do the same thing for the referral. Pretty straightforward now. So we need to create another KPI. An easy way to do this is to just duplicate the organic KPI and then edit. Um, I'll call it the referral. KPI and go to referral. Well, first, I'm going to get rid of this long formula so I can just paste it. So go to if all the way to this greater than sign, then go to edit and shelf, highlight everything, copy, paste here should work. Click OK. Then you have the referral KPI over here. Drag that into color on the referral marks card. That will change to default 
blue and orange, click bad, click red, click good, click green, click apply. Okay. Then we can do it with total. So just like we did before, an easy way is to duplicate one of the KPIs, then edit, change the name to total, then start with the greater than sign, um, get rid of this formula, go to if, delete, now go to the total marks card, click edit, uh, edit and shelf, copy this formula, control C or right click copy, paste it here, click OK. Now I have our total KPI. Drag this total KPI into the total marks card under color, blue orange default, click color edit colors, bad, red, good, green. Apply. Okay, there you have it. So hopefully, you know, it's not, and then you can edit this table a little bit. Um, it doesn't look as good as an actual text sheet, and you can play around with this. Um, oh, I forgot to do this. So you see this little dash here? You can go to edit access, tick marks, um, wait, let's see, one second. Okay, my bad. It's not on the axis. So in each one of these green pills, there's still this little line here that Tableau creates when you create a zero. Um, basically, they put a line. So for each of the pills, click the down arrow, click format. And then there's this line button that's kind of hidden up here click lines, and under zero lines, click none, none, and then you can see that for organic, the line should have deleted. Oh, and also click grid lines, none, for some reason. Even I thought it was selected, but you need to select it again. And then you see that the line disappears. So for referral color, go to format, click lines, grid lines, none, zero lines, none. Um, it actually looks like it already formatted, so you don't have to do it. This is for the whole graph, I guess. I'm just mistaken. Um, and then you can, since everything is red and green, you can basically, you know, change the view here. Since it's a table, I might go with a little smaller. It's totally up to you how you present this. Um, you know, probably a little smaller is better. You can also change the font and everything to format the table uh, properly. And since everything here, the legends are all the same, I would just um, hide the cards except for one of them and then hide the title and then you just say bad good red green okay so this is a workaround I know um, hopefully you learned some good tips and tricks again with the line percent differences hopefully that you can label these as well um, by annotating go to the mark you know I don't know if this is organic or not I'm just typing and then get rid of the line, maybe. Um, format. So if you want to get rid of the line, just go to line and click none. And then there's no line here. Then you can go to shading, go to no shading. And then hopefully that's the organic one. If not, then just switch them up. Um, and then you can easily tell that this is the organic. Um, I might bold this, maybe make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Um, I don't think it bolded. And then that way each of the lines are actually labeled 
um, because right now you can't really see that. So, um, kind of a, a baseline to start with and a baseline for the table to start with. Hopefully this makes sense. If you have a better way to do it, please let me know. And thank you for uh, watching. See you next time.